Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona Q and guess what I figured out. Guys, off screen I did a grinding session, but no ordinary grinding session. As you can see we are level 50 now. How did I manage this and how do I have all these really high level personas, Mara? Yeah, I got him. He's back, baby. All these guys, all these extremely powerful personas, how do we get them? Well, basically, um, fighting FOEs is actually really, really good grinding. At the end of the Evil Spirit Club, there's another boss fight. And if you just constantly beat him up, he will respawn, and he gets about two levels a kill. Granted, he will take a while. So, yeah, and also I have a bunch of vanish balls. Because we're not going to be fighting enemies anymore <laughs> unless we absolutely have to. So, yeah, if you're having a rough time... Just fight some FOEs. It's literally that easy. You know, we got some pretty good personas too, so that takes care of us being a little bit underpowered. Now that's been explained thoroughly. Say hello to the third night of the Inaba Pride exhibit. This place is a little bit on the rough side, but we'll get it, no problem. And geez, I'm all sweaty. I wonder if there's gonna be some weird FOEs here too. Uh... Yeah. Bad enough of having to haul that fire around. Let's not forget that we could have been more puzzles ahead of us. Yeah, that's definitely true. I don't really care what it is. I'm just praying there won't be anything too bad. Yeah, same here, Yosuke. Getting a little tired of these insanely difficult puzzles, but hey. I, you, you got me. We got this. Come out. It's going to be easy. Anyways, you want to come north really quickly. And get the shortcut so you don't constantly need to bring the fire around. You know, you don't want that. 100% chest right over there, but mainly... Crap, this is not where I need to go. <laughs> Mainly, the thing we're going to be doing in this dungeon is a slightly confusing puzzle. If you don't really understand Japanese culture or anything. And what the heck is that? Yeah, I didn't even need to voice act it. He said that. He said it. I didn't, need to, I didn't have to. What the heck is up with this? Why is it a man's groin? This is weird. Look up a giant statue of a man's lower half. Is this an FOE? No, it doesn't seem like it. Huh. It's actually, it's probably just a statue. Well, that's a relief. Goodness. It appears to be a monument modeled on a human's lower half. So this labyrinth is meant to represent one of the more biological-inspired festivals. <laughs> okay, and it doesn't matter what it is. Anyway, there's no worry that this thing here is for no reason. Let's just try and stay cautious and keep going. Say hello to the gimmick of uh, this floor. Um, basically, it's a bunch of arches. And once you pass through all the arches, this door will open up and you can continue on with the labyrinth. Yeah. And something's written on this door which will tell you the order. The light lanterns of the Holy Gateway. The seal will only be lifted once you've made the correct pilgrimage. The proper pilgrimage. You don't know what that means. It appears to be an order to go through the gateway. There's something engraved here. Now pay attention to this crap. Genbu, Bayako, Siryu, and Suzaku. That is the order. Now, each of those guys represent a color. Okay? Genbu is black. I believe... Crap, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just wait for us to tell us. So I don't really remember. Yet again, it's like, okay, you wouldn't know this unless you're kind of Japanese or at least knew a little bit about the culture, so it's kind of rough in that sense, but luckily, it's it's not impossible. And there's correct order to go through, does that mean we need to pass under these legs as if they were shrine gateways? <laughs> I guess so, man. In any case, the first one is Gembu, which is colored black. Keep that in mind. Bayako is white, Siryu is blue, and Suzaku is red. Now, each of these gateways has a flag under them, this one is Siryu, and now I need to turn on some dispersed amulets, because we don't want to fight any people <laughs> when I'm trying to explain this. So basically, we have to go through these men's uh, loincloth legs in the correct order. The black one is right over there, and once you've passed through it correctly, you'll hear like a popping sound. Now I believe if you exit the dungeon midway, it will not save your progress, so you have to do this in one shot. I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. Uh, Bayako is right through there. And up here is going to be Siryu. Yeah, so we got the third one down already. Next up, we just got to take care of the last one. So if you know the order, 
This is super easy. At least the first one is. Yeah. And you've lit all the lanterns. You should be able to head through the door now. <laughs> that was an easy puzzle. Let's go see if the door's open. Well, it, it should. Because cause it did. I did it right, Ken. Why are you doubting me? That is extremely rude. Anyways, now once you pass the room, it really doesn't matter. So now we can continue onward. I like the puzzle. That's cool, you know? But the layout of some of these is just stupid. And long. Yeah. And I'm... Hmm. I'm trying to think. What would be the best way to do the last one? Because the last one... I'm just going to tell you straight up. The last one is insane, guys. Like, I don't know... Who thought that up? But they're crazy. And I don't think we have any new enemy types on this floor, so it's mostly just about the uh, puzzle here. And yeah, we'll get some lilies. Pretty cool. Yeah. Use the charming lure navigational skill and... Oh gosh, these guys. So uh, basically, you don't have to worry about getting ambushed anymore if you have that on uh, Resay. And again, this one's a different color though. Hey, God, <laughs> God dang it, stop it, Yosuke. God dang it! Turn to me after seeing one of those enemies one more time. I'm gonna strangle you. That's as mad as I can sound. <laughs> Yosuke-san has been trying to engage Kanji-san in conversation ever since we entered this labyrinth. The relationship must be what is referred to as more than friends, but less than lovers. Of course it's not. What are you? Uh, everyone, the FOE special has just dodged that entirely. I understand. I mean, everything's weird here. We haven't seen any normal FOEs ever since we entered this labyrinth. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's not important. Look, what is it? <sighs> Those muscles. You rarely get to see such a well-defined body. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Nobody cares. There, I said it. <sighs> Are you quite done? You seem quite flustered. Please don't upset me anymore. <laughs> when Yamagishi mentioned that it's unique, she must have been referring to its movements as well. Let's proceed as usual, and remain cautious while we observe it. Understood? Yeah, we got you, Mitsuru. Alright. So, these guys suck, and I hate them. They basically moved up- Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. They move in very sporadic pattern, and for whatever reason, my brain just does not work that way, and I always get hit by them. Luckily, we got these Vanish Balls, which I- Highly recommend you pick up if you're dealing with FOEs. You get away 100% of the time. It's amazing. I love it. Anyways, I think we're supposed to go uh, right here. Yeah, and then he will move around a little bit. You're starting to see their pattern, hopefully a little bit. What makes it extremely difficult is... I got hit again. Are you serious? Now that's taken care of. They move in such an annoying pattern that it's kind of hard to navigate sometimes. But sometimes, it's actually kind of easy. You know, and we should not go up there. We should actually go to the left. See, eventually you'll get it down. But yeah, not the not the nicest guys. I don't like them. They're mean. And we're going to have to deal with a lot more of them. And isn't that just delightful? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get the shortcut really quickly. So we're going to have to deal with those uh, FOEs down there ever again. Unless you're going for the 100% floor, and if you go are going for 100% on every floor, I wish you luck, man, because there's... Unless you can kill FOEs, I don't know how you're supposed to do some of these, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, more materials inside here in this power spot. We're getting flowers for whatever reason. And wait. I, what is going on here? I'm pretty sure that the luring charm is 100%. Can I get that right? <laughs> Either way, though. Uh, we're going to have to step through here. And come through here again to deal with this FOE. Kind of a tricky one. And yeah, he can walk on, like... I think he can walk on water? I'm not too sure about that. But he can move in spaces you can't move to. Which is total bullcrap, by the way. Anyways. Next passage right through here. Now we're going to have to deal with another one of these puzzles. This one requires a little bit more thinking. It seems a seal has been set here as well. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it is. It looks like the pilgrimage door we went through before. Uh, it says here the order is Genbu, Siryu, Suzaku, and Bayako. See, it's different this time. It's black, blue, red, then white. I've indicated on the bottom screen the correct passages and what order you should go on them, but... 
here's the tricky thing. Some of these, you're gonna, I don't know, it's just, it's easier to do than explain. You're gonna have to go in very odd patterns, and I do not like the looks of this at all. I think I'm screwed, no. Am I screwed here? Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm fine, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that was like, giving me so much trouble. Well, yeah, you have to come through here first. That's number one. Easy. Wait, yeah, okay, we want to go through <laughs> Sorry, I'm, this is very confusing to commentate and do with this. And I'm not really confusing, but it takes a little bit of brain power, and when I'm already trying to commentate, that's a little bit rough. So through that one, number two. Now we're gonna have to make it down here to number three, and... Uh, how do I want to do this? I know you don't go through the door. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a complete blank. This is embarrassing. Okay, now I figured out how to do it. We're going to need to position ourselves and go down here. Just real quick, like, easy peasy. You can kind of see how we're going to get there. We're going to take this arrow down, and then go to the four room. That was not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> what I actually want to do is heal up, because we're super low. Yeah. Those FOEs, man, they hurt. They hurt a lot. They hurt really, really bad. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, what I was trying to say is <laughs> I thought I had to go to the door, but no, I do not. What we need to do is... Did I just mess up? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, I, now I'm confusing myself, man. Oh, my gosh. What we need to do here is go through this area, and we're going to have to go through here. You're going to have to go through this way. Because if you pass through the three gate, you're basically going to be screwed. Or should I say, you pass through the th three gate from the right side. You're supposed to pass through the left side, which is the way I'm going. And please do not do this right now, FOE. Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> I thought that was going to like mess me up. Anyways, we got number three. Now it's all left is number four. Okay, you got to be careful with those, those sweaty FOEs, man. They're very... Very obnoxious, and yes, that's how you do the second puzzle. Now all you gotta do is get back to the gate, but once you've gone through the gate, uh, or the gate has been unlocked the first time, you can exit the dungeon, it's open forever, you're good to go. So let's come over here and get this treasure really quickly. Can't see a reason not to, we got some sleeping daggers. And now I think I'm just gonna go home, because we actually really need to heal. And I'll appear right in front of that uh, gate, so we can go through it. So be right back. And all right then, now that I've done some shopping and sold those really rare materials, man, that gives us a lot of money. It's kind of unbelievable, actually, how easy money is to get in this game, rather than in, uh, you know, Persona 3 is the first one I can think of. Money was kind of hard to obtain. Anywho, let's think of where we need to go now. I think I want to up... not upload. <laughs> Unlock this shortcut. And hey, new... oh my, I, I've complete. wow. Now I feel dumb. There is, in fact, a new enemy to fight here. The, uh, abs Absorts Tower? Yeah, the tower enemy. He's weak to, I believe he's weak to status elements, light, and darkness. So hit him up with that, and you guys are about to see the Mara, man. The Mara, if you get the right setup, insane. Myriad Arrows has very low hit rate, but it does damage. So you're going to see everybody's new attacks. I got Vorpal Blade. Not really going to do with too much to that Samurai guy. Let's try and hit him up with a Mamadoon. Wow, that was extremely uh, easy. Yeah, now it's still kind of strong. Oh my gosh, the XP not really too great. Uh, keep in mind though, guys, you're going to want to get to round level 55 for something we're going to do very soon. So if you're noticing, like, I'm still like level 40, man. Just go find some FOEs that you can kill somewhat uh, easily and keep killing them over and over again. That, In my opinion, so far, that is the best EXP in the game. The game doesn't tell you, yeah, fight FOEs for EXP in the later dungeons, but as far as I can tell, that's actually what you're supposed to do. Next, sealed doors right through here. Another seal has been set here. A pilgrimage door, huh? Genbu Suzaku Siryu Bayako. So it's black, red, um, it's not white. It's blue, then white. That is basically the pattern, but the issue is that this next puzzle is a little insane. How they expect people to do this. I mean, yeah, in Persona 3 and 4, you had dungeons. And a spiked bra, what an interesting uh, item. 
I'm not sure that would be too comfortable, depending on where the spikes are, but... <laughs> but yeah, in Persona 3 and 4, we had random dungeons. There weren't really any puzzles, necessarily. The puzzles were solving the social links and talking to people and understanding, you know, their problems and how they're gonna solve them, yada yada yada. In this game, you just flat out got puzzles that are gonna bend your mind and cripple your thoughts. This place flat out sucks. And hey, Chrysanthemum. Does I remember the story about the girl named Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum, I don't know. Doesn't matter, what truly matters is that we're gonna have to get the fire and bring it into that room. Because the next door we gotta unlock is unfortunately blocked by a door that can only be opened with fire. So we're actually heading up to the previous floor again. And now is when I'm gonna do that puzzle I said in the previous episode. That I could not figure out, because I actually found out you're supposed to kinda now, you don't have to do it at this point necessarily, but it helps, and yeah. We need to get fire to this room. Now, how do we do this? Basically, we're gonna have to take fire and move it all around and all that jazz. So, have fun with that. Uh, well, I don't know why I'm telling you to have fun with that, because I'm the person that's just about to do it. Do I need to come in here? Uh... You know, I don't remember. Well, poop. I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> so, I think what I want to do is I want to grab this fire and then come over here. And once we do that, we will scare this FOE and then take this fire right here. Scare him again. Gosh, I hate that. <laughs> Why they gotta be so muscular, man? It's gross. Going to the gym a little too much, if you ask me. But, anyways. Uh, once that battle has uh, been done interrupting me, we can light this fire, and I think this will reach. Yeah, okay, yeah, and then we can take that down to the next floor. Let's get some power spot items, music sheet, music sheet, another music sheet, that was a far more rare. I don't think we went over that when we were uh, doing this floor, so I'll, show, so I'll show that right now. It's really nice uh, when I can do the farming while recording the episodes, because it is a pain in the butt to go back and do that. Alright, messed up very briefly, but this is how we're supposed to do the next uh, dungeon. You want to come over here, grab this torch. Actually, you're not really grabbing the torch, but get the holy fire. And then come into this room, and they're going to be like, Oh no! And they'll be afraid of it. Light this area up, and I only have to do some kind of weird... ...maneuvering, basically. Alright, let's get the torch again, because, you know... I Move to the FOEs around a little bit. I think we need it one more time. Yeah. So you basically want to get the FOEs in an erratic pattern. You don't want them to be both facing the wall. And once you've done that, pass through here and. Then you're done! It's that easy. Alright. Just light it up right there if you want. And now we can get over here, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Wait. Crap. Did I not light the torch? Oh my gosh, I didn't. Uh, that's a pain in the butt. Well, basically, don't be stupid like me and actually light the torch. Now that's been taken care of, I'm going to go home real fast and meet you guys back down the south. Where we are going to have to use this torch that hopefully you've lit properly in getting this chest. Uh, just a sp spoiler alert, if you don't have Yukiko and you have no interest in using Yukiko... This next chest is going to be 100% useless to you, so don't even bother getting it, really. Anyways, what we want to do is we want to move these guys around a little bit. I believe this will make him drop aggro. Yeah, then I'll go back to his original spot, which will draw the other one out. Then come get the holy fire again. This is such a, this is such a, just, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking with these couple puzzles. It's like, the reward is so not worth it. And yeah, so now we're going to be right here. And we want to pull these guys out. And now, I think I can... No. I'm gonna get hit one time. Use your attacks on me. I do, I do not even care. But yeah, this um, this puzzle kind of insane. I don't know. But still not as insane as the last one we're about to go do. Anyways, when they're in this position, this is somewhat the position you want them to be in. You can just go in, get the fan, and get out. Yeah. 
That's the last treasure, I believe, for this floor. No, I think I'm missing one to the northwest, but we'll get that eventually. Like this bonfire again, and you could exit this area at any time you'd like. Yeah. This is how you get out. You basically push this guy as up as you can, then light the fire again. And I think, yeah, they're gonna be squished, aren't they? Yeah, we're gonna have to go through this door really quickly. Yet again, oh my gosh. These uh, puzzles, kinda, kinda crazy, I don't know. I've played Etrian and Odyssey uh, 1 beforehand, and the puzzles were relatively sane, I'd like to say. Still no teleportation um, things in this game, which I like, I like a lot. I do not like teleporting room puzzles, unless it's Pokemon. I mean, usually, uh, they just they just annoy the crap out of me, and hopefully there's not one in this game. That'd be nice. Anyways, let's put her on another Disperse Amulet, because we still got a lot more dungeon to go, guys. This episode ain't over yet. We got a lot more. Right. Uh, so now that we have the fire, after uh, doing that extremely long, um, long-winded, I guess I'd like to say, uh, diversion, we can actually come into this area. And now we're going to go after another optional chest. We're in another room with a bunch of sweaty guys. Cool, and be careful. Yefoe's acting weird. Alright, we're carrying the holy flames. That one's going to act different. Yeah. Basically. Hmm. Is that a puddle of sweat? <laughs> I'd rather not go through that. What's wrong with you? When you move your body, you naturally sweat. Here's your training, seriously. That, okay. But I don't want to go through that thing, Sweat. <laughs> what if it's dangerous? Ah, uh, that'd probably be really bad, and part of my tardiness. Allow me to report an analysis on the puddle's components. What? Okay, when when did you start analyzing it? It is 1% consistent of sodium, potassium, and calcium. The remainder is animal oils. There is nothing dangerous about it, but if we step in it, the laws of inertia will <laughs> continue to affect us. Okay. Uh, thanks for that report. I really don't want to step in that now. <laughs> yeah, you no kidding. This is for our pilgrimage to open the gates. We must bear this and press on. Jeez, Mitsuru's kind of getting angry. Anyways. Crap. Yeah. Once you step on the uh, oil, actually not the oil, the, well, I guess it is technically animal oil, you'll move around a little bit and go an extra step. So keep that in mind. So we're going to get the fire again and do this properly this time. Am I supposed to go through here? Indeed I am. Use this passageway right through here. And if they were in that position, you should be able to take another step. And if I'm doing this right, I sure hope I am. He's going to step on the one I'm on, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. You can get to this chest. Uh, that one, not really that bad. Just take this path. Right there, yeah. And you should get it. It's not all that hard, but it took me a couple tries, admittedly. Anyways, the chest in here is the Gigantic Fist skill card. Not horrible. A pretty good thing, actually. Well, really quickly, um, I'm gonna have to go home, so I'll meet you guys right back here when we get ready to do this gigantic part of the dungeon. Oh my gosh. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not. I'm really not. So, the final challenge for this dungeon is completing the, like, right side of the dungeon. The first thing we have to do is we have to abuse the sweat of these FOEs to slide us to this door as quickly as we can. That path, that works for me. The blue indicates areas in which sweat can appear, which sounds so gross I don't even want to think about it. Now, the gates are here. So you gotta walk, walk, look out for that. Uh, mainly our objective here is, we're trying to get through here. Am I? Okay, I'm safe, okay. <laughs> um, and transport the flame, because we're gonna need the flame and the sweat for when we go around. Basically, to do this all, they're gonna have to make two trips through this uh, labyrinth. Am I screwed? Okay, no, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> so first things first, you wanna unlock this secret passageway. So we can transport the flame a little bit. And luckily, these FOEs are kind of on the nice side. Uh, they won't mess you up too much. They're pretty, they're pretty, pretty easy to figure out, basically. You know, you know. So next we got coming through here. Yeah, we're almost done, though. Uh, basically, this is the only way to get to the first gate. 
and there's no secret passageway. This area, in general, really could have benefited from some secret passages. That's just my opinion. There's really not enough of them. Step through this gate and begin the ever so painful grind. That is the final of these, uh, what would you call them? I guess the Bayako gates. I, I don't really know. The four directions or whatever. The four spirit beasts. I don't really know. Light this fire up again because you're gonna need it to come down here. If memory serves me right. We're gonna have to make sure these guys are sweaty. And in that position, step on it there. And the sweat will take you to this room. No problem. Now. What you have to do is... Alright. I think... Yeah, I need to come through here again. And step through it like that. Crap. Well, that didn't go as planned. Um, let's actually step back in here and heal up a little bit. Those vanished balls do help a lot, but... Still, you're gonna get hit. Which is bad. Eh. And even worse is when you, uh... Get hit... And then the other FOE just comes behind you. It's just such a pain in the butt, because then you gotta run away from two, and they'll probably wipe your party, but hey, it's fine. Just just don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. There you go. So grab the flame, and I believe when they're on this side, you want them to be in that little corner right there. You'll have the sweat, and you can come through into the second area. So here's the stink <laughs> the stinky thing. The sucky thing about the second area. You gotta do it like this. You gotta get number two. And then we're going to have to go back and get number three. Yeah. It's, it, 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 it sucks. This, this, this entire scenario just sucks. So now we have to get through these guys with the fire. Actually, do we even need the fire? I think we do. Well, carrying the fire really doesn't cause too much harm. Yeah, we'll need the fire because we need to get over to that red arrow. Crap, is he going to hit me? Yeah, let's uh, move over really quickly. Make sure these guys don't hit me none. Okay, sweet! We did it. <laughs> then step through the third arch and... Oh my gosh, we're done. All we gotta do is get through uh, these FOEs. I think we should back up, yeah. Then come through here. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking difficult. Commentating this and playing it is kind of hard. Anyways, we're almost done though. We have one more arch to pass through. Make sure you grab the fire though, because you want to abuse the uh, sweat. So you can get to the door instantly. Let's make sure we got full charges of it. Why not? And step through here. Yeah, it, You just do that so you don't have to fight the FOEs, basically. And now you can use this red arrow, because you do not want to pass through the second arch again. Because you basically have to do all this over again. And step through the fourth arch. <laughs> We're done, ladies and gentlemen. That looked a lot easier than it actually was. Usually I say I made that look a lot easier than it was, but no, this looks very easy. It is not. It is anything but that. With that, we can go to the last floor of the Inaba Pride exhibit. And I'm excited about that. I'm extremely excited about that. Because I'm tired of these FOE puzzles. Yeah. Honestly, how much longer can this festival go on? It seems Korumaru-san is suffering in this extreme heat as well. Yeah, you got a thick coat after all. Oh, being here must be tough on you. It's not gonna keep getting hotter as we go, is it? If you can't keep up, then head back. You'll only drag us down. Hey. Am I wrong? Mm, well, it is logical. Ugh. She's kind of scary. Does Mitsuru Senpai seem really on edge to you? Yeah, I agree. She's trying to hide it though. Hmm. Um, Mitsuru Senpai, why don't we take a break? It's exhausting just being in here. You seem a little tired too. Me? No, I'm perfectly fine. Senpai, you've been pushing yourself hard ever since we came here, no? It's been one unfamiliar thing after another. Despite all this, you're trying to set a good example for us. But if you're tired, it's okay to show that. Can you not show even a hint of weakness to us? Do you trust us that little? 
I haven't said anything so far so as not to rock the boat, but it has to be done, for both our sake. Yukari. The same goes for Akihiko-senpai and Shinjiro-senpai. We all hide things, just going along to get along. But doesn't that show that we don't trust each other at all? I'll be blunt, none of us really needs each other. All that's needed is our persona abilities. Taking it a step further, we only need ourselves. It's not like I want to be BFFs or anything. It's just... I wish I understood you all better. <sighs> <sighs> Never mind. Forget it. I'm just tired from the heat. <sighs> Yuka-chan! Sen! Sen! Yuka-chan's sad! <sighs> Dude! Sensei, what should we do? I was a transfer student. Before I was even used to my new home, a murder spree started and I gained my persona. It was confusing. In a way, I was an outsider. So I had no reason to fight for Inaba. But I made a promise to Yosuke and Teddy. I wanted to rescue everyone who had been kidnapped. Not to let the killer off lightly, but more than that. I want to fight for my friends who fight for me. They mean a lot to me. I act as their leader, but I'm sure I'd be nothing without them. My friends faced their own shadows and came out stronger for it. But I never met mine. To make up for that though, I've had my friends to help me mature. It's my companions that I draw strength from in all this. Companions? Strength? Are they replaceable? Are they not included among those you fight to protect? That ain't true. This is something I've thought about after talking to Rise-chan and her friends. We're not fighting just to erase the dark hour, or for whatever other reasons we have. I want to believe we're also fighting for ourselves, together, as companions. I want to believe I exist for their sake. The sake of the ones I fight with, that I live with. <sighs> Yukari's right. We're fighting for a cause, for now. But that alone ain't gonna bring all of us together. Unless we trust in each other. We're nothing but a mishmash of people. Mitsuru, Aki, I ain't exempting myself here. But have we tried to understand the new blood, as people? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't know we were giving you that impression. But what should we do? a party that'll give you plenty of time to talk with each other Risa? i know i'm not there right now so sorry if i'm feeling the mood but i think the best thing to do is to have a delicious meal with everyone why not hold a we made it party once we get out of here uh, i think that's a great idea i'll show off my cooking skills great make sure you invite our group too okay wait is that possible hmm, good question then, we should think of a menu, Risei-chan! So, everyone, um, see you! Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's so quiet here! Completely dead silent! <laughs> Sorry if I'm killing the mood, my ass! I didn't hear Fuka say she'd be showing off her cooking skills, did I? We'd be in for hell if she did. But a party? That could be fun. I'll cook then. Oh, that reminds me. I've heard what a good cook you are, Shinjiro-senpai. Shinjiro-san's fingerprints were all over the family cooking magazine I discovered at the dormitory. <laughs> Shut up! I take it back. A man shouldn't go back on his word. Make mine with a double serving of protein. I ain't putting in even one serving of that shit. <laughs> Very well. We'll hold a celebratory party when we get back. The Kirijo group will supply the funds. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. It's true that we know very little about one another. We are companions who fight alongside each other. But that won't hold just by gathering together. Companions are something we must grow into. 
Senpai. I never told you about the time I awakened to my persona, did I? The reason I gained my persona is because that was my duty. I was given my ability, much like a test subject. It was a duty, but also a source of hope. I had something I wanted to use that power to protect. Since then, I thought I had marched on the path I believed was best, without even a side glance. But perhaps I had deluded myself somewhere along the way. I was only looking inward. I acted as if I was accomplishing my goals on my own, even when I had companions with me who shared that goal. It seems the list of things I wanted to protect had increased without me realizing. Am I weaker for that? Not at all. I see. Senpai! <laughs> enough, Yamagishi. Come now, let's hurry onward. Staying here will only delay our party. <laughs> right. Takeba, thank you. Oh, senpai! Say that again! What? Oh, a rare, tender moment from Mitsuru-senpai. Yeah, let's hear it again. Don't be ridiculous. I'm out of here. Whoa, she's fast. Ah. What's wrong with it? People change. Change? How? Both Yukari and Mitsuru. In fact, everyone has changed. It's because they met each other. Yes. Let's keep at it just a little longer, okay? Yes. A little bit of a heartfelt moment between the members of Cease and our new friends. I really like that a lot, actually. And Yukari actually has some character development. Yay! And this is the fourth floor. Wonder if the Guardian is here. The harder it is here, the more fun we'll have when we run through our party. Let's maintain our focus. That's the spirit material. That's our student council president! You sure know how the students have fun. Yeah. Let me fix some crap real quick. <laughs> so, I'm too busy reading dialogue. Iori, you know what I will not allow any of us to fail a test. We have the special privilege of co-ed dorms, and I don't want people to think that we see Cease is playing around. I may have to suspend you from our group, or worse, expel you if your grades fall. I think there's more pressing matters at hand here, Mitsuru, like these billions of dungeons and puzzles we have to solve, but hey, whatever. We can do it at the food court. There should be have tables open. Are you serious? You want us to study in the middle of a culture festival? Yeah, that is actually a good point, and Hero, I would like you to participate as well. Why me? The heck? I'll make this a request. I apologize for the steadiness, or suddenness. <laughs> Don't say that, you're gonna jinx me. And yes, the request study hall is now in session, has been added. And there's a sealed door over there as well. Oh boy. Yep. We got more archway puzzles to solve. Let's talk about this another time. Let's investigate the door in the meantime. Yeah, I'm gonna not do that because this episode is like a million hours long. And I'm a little tired of this place, so you know what? I hope I could maybe help you out with some of these puzzles, so you can maybe figure them out if you're struggling with that. And with that, we've cleared the third floor of the Anaba Inaba Pride Exhibit. Thank you all so much for watching, and in the next episode, we clear the final floor of the game. And boy, I'm not looking forward to it, because believe it or not, it's even harder. So see you guys then. Bye.